In the Gospel of Mark, the disciples are not shown in a very positive light. They are often unable to understand what Jesus is saying. They are often unable to interpret what Jesus is saying and they often misunderstand the words of Jesus and his action. One such example is given in the gospel text of today, Mark chapter 8, verses 14 to 21. In it we are told that immediately after the feeding of the 4,000, in which seven baskets were gathered, the disciples are in a boat. And along with Jesus, who is the provider of those loaves, and Mark tells us enigmatically that they had only one loaf and they began to say to one another, we do not have bread. It seemed very strange that a few verses earlier, they had experienced the miraculous power of Jesus to feed this huge multitude. And now a few verses later, they, like the opponents of Jesus, are keeping on asking for a sign. They discuss among themselves that they have no bread. Jesus hears their discussion, even though they have one loaf, and that loaf is the Lord himself. And the Lord is sufficient for all of their needs, but because they are slow of mind and slow of heart, they are unable to recognize him. And Jesus has to educate them yet again. Jesus has to teach them yet again. And he does it by asking questions about the earlier two feelings. And the questions of Jesus are very significant because this is what the questions are. When I fed the 5,000, how many baskets did you gather? And they are able to provide the answer. They say 12. And then he goes on. When I fed the 4,000, how many baskets did you gather? They say 7. Which is the correct answer, but they are not able to understand. And then Jesus enigmatically or poignantly says to them, Do you still not understand? What does Jesus want them to understand? It is very clear from the focus of the questions what Jesus wants them and us to understand. Because the focus of the question is not on the miraculous event. The focus on the question is not on the stupendous power of Jesus. The focus of the questions is on what remains after the feeding. So the twelve baskets that remain and the seven baskets that remain are the focus and these baskets draw our attention to the fact that when we have Jesus with us in our lives, we will never be in need. There will always be abundance and more. So the twelve and seven are figures which we must keep in mind. Jesus does not focus on his extraordinary powers. Jesus does not focus on his miraculous powers. Jesus does not focus on his ability to work miracles. He focuses on our gathering of the baskets and of what remains. There are times when, like the disciples, we too believe that the Lord is not with us when we do have him in our lives. And we keep looking everywhere and we keep discussing that we have no bread and the Lord once again educates us. The Lord once again teaches us to remember not the miraculous, not the stupendous, not the extraordinary, but the mundane, the regular, the gathering and the remains. Will you realize? That God is found not only in the miraculous events of life. That God is found not only in the stupendous and extraordinary events of life. 
but that God is found right here in your heart. What you and I have to do is look intently and open our minds and our hearts to recognize and encounter Him. Will you do that today?